Let's go, Mississippi. Here we go. So, Mississippi is boring. Like, this was like Kansas 2.0, except like more green. Like, legit, I drove in and I drove out. Like, I, you know, I was really like hoping to find something to do or something to see in Mississippi. And like, whatever I looked up on Google, it was like, okay, things to do in Mississippi visit the state capitol and then I saw pictures of it and I was like that just like the, just, the building just looks racist like I don't really want to see it and I had to find a toilet because I had to pee so I go to a grocery store pee and then I was like well I don't know what to do now so I look up and there's like a park so it says it's a state park so I go there and then there's like a gate and I was like oh man I had to pay so I go up to the gate I'm like oh how much is it I wasn't going to pay, but uh, I was going to turn around anyway. But yeah, and she's like, are you going to the museum? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to the park. And she was like, there's no park here. Turn around. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I was like so awkward. And then, yeah, so then I just ended up turning around. And then I was like, well, it's really nothing for me to do right now. So I was like, I guess I'll just go to Memphis, go to my friend's house. But the drive, like, driving through Mississippi and Tennessee, both, like, it's really, really green, like, really, really lush. Like, Mississippi had all these, like, tall trees, and it was really beautiful, and, like, it's springtime now, so there was, like, some flowers growing on the side. It was really pretty. Um, but, yeah, Mississippi ain't got nothing to do. All Mississippi had was a bunch of hospitals and a bunch of museums, and that's all. That's it. I tried really hard to find stuff to do, even just even if it was just go to a park. But like, even when I drove through the city or like the town or whatever, like there was just nothing to look at. Like not even like buildings. It was pretty boring. And yeah, and then I met up with my friend in Memphis, and we went out for like some drinks. And she showed me around a little bit, so it was cool. I spent a couple of nights with her, and yeah, now I'm in Nashville. This was Bill Street in memphis and yeah it was fun so i just got to downtown nashville tennessee and just driving through like oh my god there's so much going on there's so much people yeah i'll try to get some videos of the place the area because it's really dope so nashville is lit like if I was like with a bunch of friends or something, like I was thinking about going out and drinking by myself, but they had a lot of different bars. Like it was a good vibe. Like I was surprised. I was like, oh, this is why people go to Nashville, all right? I finished walking around like the downtown like lit area and like all the touristy stuff. And I was thinking about just going straight to Atlanta or going to Knoxville, I'm not sure. So then I was like, you know what? Let me just chill and like spend the night. So I go to the nearest Walmart and there's a bunch of signs saying no overnight parking and I was like, damn it! So I go to that site that um, has like a list of all the Walmarts that you can park at where people like write in and say whether or not they were able to park there overnight. Yeah, most of the Nashville ones you couldn't park at but there was one where it's next to a Lowe's and then they said, they were like, we weren't allowed to park at the Walmart but they told us to park at the Lowe's next door and there were other like RVs and big rigs and stuff parked there too. And it was a recent post. It was like March 2021 and it's like April right now. It's April 25th, the day before my birthday. Yeah, and then I also looked on free campsites and they they recommended the street parking right by Centennial Park. And I was like, okay, a park. Um, it is street parking, so that is like kind of weird, but right now I'm parked right behind an RV, so I feel like, I feel like it's okay here. If I feel uncomfortable, I'm just gonna go to the Lowe's parking lot. But yeah, I'm still debating if I'm gonna go to Knoxville or not tomorrow because my goal is to be in Atlanta for my birthday, and Atlanta is about four hours away, and Knoxville is three hours, and then an additional three hours to go from Knoxville to Atlanta and I would have to do all that in one day. So I might just go straight to Atlanta, still figuring it out. I'm really just winging it. The good thing about this parking spot by the park is that they have porta potties. 
I mean, at this point, I think I'm cool with just peeing in a bottle in my car. But I might just use the porta potty once or twice. I don't know. My plan is right now is I'm gonna cook dinner inside my car with my little itaki pot and I'm gonna make udon. I'm gonna go do that now. And then I'm gonna set up camp and get ready for bed. Right, this lighting is not prime, but that, that's what we have to work with. So I'm about to start cooking udon in my car. Okay, got my pot. What? Why did it stop? Guess what decided to stop working? So what happened was I tried to use my pot. I have an adapter that changes a cigarette lighter um, in my car to like a plug outlet. And then I have a pot. And I checked the voltage and technically it should have been able to handle it. So I don't know why it didn't work, but it seems like I blew a fuse cause like the cigarette lighter doesn't work at all anymore. And I spent my whole birthday in an auto store trying to fix it. So I replaced the fuse and after replacing the fuse, it still doesn't work. So I have to like go find a mechanic or someone that can work on, work on the electrical part of my car and see if they can figure out what to do. But uh, yeah, I can't charge my phone in my car anymore and I can't cook in my car anymore. Yeah, I've been good. I've been in Atlanta. It's like two days past my birthday now. Yeah, I made it here. It was a long, quiet drive, four hours with no music, nothing, because I couldn't charge my phone and my phone was dying. So, but I'm here now, so that's all that matters. So, bye. <laughs> I don't want to leave my car because I'm concerned that people will see me and like may follow me or something. Luckily, I have... I have no other food, but I have these meal replacement shakes that I got from 310 Nutrition. So they are gonna save me right now. I have this right here from Blendjet, and it's like a portable blender water bottle. So I can just make one of these and hopefully that'll fill me up. So this is dinner tonight, my Blendjet came in clutch. I'm so glad I got this. Um, hopefully this is filling enough. And then I'm off to sleep, so good night. Bye.